morning, guys. It's a beautiful Sunday. One of the top things that I do with my Sundays is I, I mainly use it for creative stuff, bringing to life an idea that I had in my head. Oftentimes, it turns into these YouTube videos. Today's art DIY is one you guys are gonna love. So I'm gonna make custom French fry dominoes. Here's what I did. I went on Amazon and you can actually buy silicone molds of a domino set, this. So it comes with an entire set already molded with silicone. For a lot of people, that's the biggest step that they can't figure out. These are great. It's got a shiny finish. It already has the dots imprinted, so you don't have to worry about that either. This is one thing you're gonna need. So I've got two of these. So we're gonna do a French fry one and maybe like a marbling effect for the second one. I also went and got a large French fries from McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna be like, I'm not gonna sponsor it, but too iconic of a container. So, and this is not the first time that I've used real food in my resin projects. Back in May, I made a chicken nugget clock with real chicken nuggets. These nuggets are nine months old. They could have had a baby in the time that they've been here. Nine months old and they have not started to rot. If you guys want to see this video, link in the description down below. All right, let's do it. So this is what's going to come when you order the Domino set from Amazon. It comes in a plastic bag and inside there's going to be two things. It's going to come with a felt bag for your completed Domino set and of course the silicone Domino mold, which is in a plastic bag. I usually like to order two just so I can make two sets at the same time instead of having to wait for the resin to dry. Take your silicone domino mold and your french fries. We're gonna dump out the french fries and we're gonna let the hunt begin. We are looking for the perfect fries, ones that are the size of a domino and also not like the thick ones. Like you know some fries are like thick. Yeah, we don't want those. Those aren't gonna fit inside the dominoes. Let me give you an example. When you put a fry inside your domino mold, it's gotta be flush with the top of the mold. Otherwise it's gonna be sticking out like this. So what you do is if it's like that, you take it, you squish it between your juicy thumbs and go ahead and put it back and boom. That is now gonna be submerged in resin. Now you have to do that with every other domino space. I'm starting out by putting at least one fry in each domino and then slowly like a puzzle, slotting in more fries, as many as I could possibly fit inside the mold as possible. We've got a lot of squishing to do, baby. <laughs> I hate that I just said that. <laughs> but seriously, look how many are sticking up. We gotta squish those down before we start the next step. Like this, okay? You take it, give it a little squeeze, and you're gonna have to fit it back in. And this is a very tedious process, but you gotta do it. Otherwise the fries are gonna stick out and then they're actually gonna start to mold. So they gotta be fully encased in resin. Step two, we're getting the resin. My favorite part, make sure you put on some uh, gloves. I'm using some black nitrile gloves. Now I like to use red plastic cups when I'm mixing resin. Because I'm using one for one resin, as long as my part A goes up to that bottom line in the design of the cup, then all I have to do is match the same in the second cup. So first we're starting with resin, pouring it up to that line. And then we're gonna add in hardener, pouring it up to the exact same line. Now I've got equal amounts, one for one. We're gonna mix the two together and then mix for a solid two minutes, minimum two minutes. Don't go too fast because otherwise you're gonna introduce air bubbles. Luckily, when I want clear resin, I pop it into my vacuum chamber. By the way, this is what it looks like on the outside. Make sure the seal is on. And all it does is it basically takes the big air bubbles and pops them. And then eventually they're gonna all be the same size like this. When you let air back in, it's gonna pop sort of like a soda. You're gonna leave like that to degas for like 10 minutes and just pop all the bubbles itself. Or you can bring in a barbecue lighter and just boom, blast them away with a quick flame. Now it's time to pour the resin. I'm doing this slowly just cause I don't want the fries to rise up or float, but take your time with this because you don't want air bubbles. My second batch, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the domino slots with like 90% clear resin. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with this one. Today, we're gonna to use some alcohol inks. I don't know if I've done this in a video before, but this is a really cool technique. They are not resin dyes, they are alcohol inks. And I'm gonna show you the difference right here. We're gonna go ahead and take well pink and we're gonna dab it around, randomly splotching it around in our dominoes. Some of them will have a lot, some will have a little, and some of them will have no dots at all. And then I went in with blue, I added green, I think there was some red and some orange, and just go ahead and make it completely random all over the place. You could even stack the alcohol inks on top of each other. Now this is an effect and you could totally leave it like this if you want. They're gonna blend together and make these really cool, smoky, rainbow colored effects. But I want more. And I'm gonna show you guys a new technique. Art Resin has this product called Ink Sinker. Now Ink Sinker does exactly what the name is. You drop it on top of alcohol inks and it'll actually take the stuff that floats, because alcohol ink floats, and bring it right to the bottom. 
So just go ahead and drop tiny amounts, guys. This stuff is super powerful when it gets on top of alcohol ink. So just a tiny amount on top of the colors. It's best if you stack the alcohol inks and it'll actually pull it through separately. It's a really cool effect. And if you look closely, this is the coolest part. You can see it start to mix and, and react with the alcohol ink. It actually looks like a beach from like a drone shot. Like, look at this. And this is where you're getting your unique, cool effects. It's, oh my God, I love it so much. It's, it's one of my favorite products. There we have our French fry domino set completed. And here's our marbling rainbow set completed. We now are gonna leave it overnight to dry before we actually demold these. Day two, here are our dominoes. If you guys are ever working with resin, the thinner of the pour you do, the longer it's gonna take to harden. So you guys can actually see that these are still very pliable. All right, let's go ahead and demold these and see what we got. The fries kind of went a little see-through. Oh, of course I picked the one with no dots on it. So there it is. French fry domino. <laughs> These are so sick. Dan, we can't even see how many dots are on there. No problem, that's the next step here. First, let's just go ahead and unmold these. There's our first set of dominoes. We got a set of dominoes made with real french fries. We can't stop here because this one you can see has an air bubble. And the problem is that looks like another dot on the domino. This looks like a, a one one domino, but it's actually just a one and a blank. But that dot is really messing with me. What I can do here is I can either fill this bottom one with resin and that's completely going to disappear, which is great. Or we do this next step. Demold these and see how these turned out. I want to show you guys what Ink Sinker actually does. These ones turned out really good. All right, so what Ink Sinker does is it's a heavier a liquid that you pour on top of alcohol inks and it'll pull and make everything else sink hence ink sinker the name the the only thing when you're introducing ink sinker is you're going to get white added in so if you don't want to add any sort of white coloring don't use ink sinker because i've found every time i've used it it uh, it's pretty prominent alcohol ink would have just floated at the top but since we added in ink sinker you can see it's spider webbing down that's the heavy ink sinker pulling it down but with that introducing this like white sporing look. If you don't have ink sinker, which is like right here, the alcohol ink is actually just gonna stay at the top. So you'll get more of that look, which looks cool, but it's not gonna sink down to the surface of the domino. Yeah, look at that. That one's got pink, red, and blue. Super nice. Oh, look at this one. That's cool. And there we have our second set of dominoes. Next step, these are not usable dominoes. You can't really see what numbers are on the face of them. So we're gonna have to paint them. But we're not just gonna use a brush because brushing these is gonna be way too tedious and if you slip, it's ruined. There's a technique here. In order to paint these, you're gonna need to get a fine line applicator. It does not look like an art product. In fact, it looks like a medical device. But so basically you put the paint down here, you can unscrew this and there's like a, a needle looking thing. Now on the cap, there's also a needle. When you're putting it back in, you sort of thread and that, and that way it keeps the spout clean. You put paint in here, you squeeze it and it comes out with super detail into a very, very fine amount. So I got two of them. So I'm gonna go with white for these guys. And for these ones, I think gold, like a nice gold will look really nice with these. Look how clean that looks. All right, let's get these done. So when you're done using your fine tip applicator, it's important that you actually clean it out. Put a little bit of soap, a little bit of water. It's like milking a micro cow. Like, oh, there's the milk. Charlie. 
What's up, man? Oh, it's so warm in there. You're toasty, man. You're a toasty wiener. And just like that, we made Domino's with real French fries inside. And actually some just fun, nice, pretty looking Domino's right here. You could make as many Domino sets as you want, any way you want, you can put whatever you want in them, as long as it's the same thickness as a Domino. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Danocracy where I'm posting more of my own personal art that isn't on YouTube. You can also get notified of new videos on my stories, which are every day. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.